left and right. Uh, I have learned a lesson quickly that it is always easy to be there and somebody else to be here. But, Your Excellency, I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to come before you having been nominated by Mr. President as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I also wish to acknowledge the presence of my governor, the governor of Ondo State, Arakuni Uluwaru Timiakredolu, who uh, solidarized with me by coming to the uh, floor of the Senate with me, and my brothers who are also in the House of Representatives from Ondo State. I have copiously in my CV stated my bio data. It's a very small document, and I deliberately made it so, so that it will be easy for my colleagues to go through. I'm sure by the time you flip through in five, ten minutes, you will have seen who I am. I only want to use this opportunity to plead with my colleagues that there were some jobs that we started in the Eighth Senate, which were almost completed, uh, that is very dear and close to my heart, especially in the petroleum industry. We had the PIB, which had been on for almost 20 years, and in the Eighth Senate, we tried to split the PIB into four the Petroleum Industry Governance Bill, the Administration Bill, the Host Community and Impacted Bill, and the fourth one, which is very, very important, which is the one that will dictate how much money we are going to get in this country. We call it the Governance Bill. Please, and please, I will plead with Mr. President, and my distinguished colleagues, that this, especially the PIGB had been passed, but it, it, it has not been assented to by Mr. President. Please revisit this bill for the good of Nigeria. It is very, very important for Nigeria to move forward and earn more from the natural resource of crude oil that God had given to us. There is also another bill that we had done to uh, second reading. We, 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 we had even conducted a uh, public hearing on it, the Nigerian Nuclear Regulatory uh, Agency Bill. Everybody knows that the world has moved from crude to clean energy and other things. This one is very important for our nation, and the bill should, even, uh, should also be completed. I won't say all those, uh, Mr. President and Chairman. I wish to thank you once again for giving me the opportunity to stand before you and let you know that everything about me is before you and I will be ready to answer questions if need be. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We're here. You are a very committed uh, Senator. You chaired the Senate Committee on Petroleum Upstream, and you did extremely well. You worked so hard, uh, especially for the PIGB. Or PIB generally split into about four segments. It was our desire and hope that the bills could be passed and assented to, but um, that didn't happen. Let me give a small story of how the transition of this petroleum industry bill has been. In 2007, when I came to the Senate, in the 6th Senate, this bill was sent to the Senate and the National Assembly, and then it took a life of its own. We ended up with so many versions of the bill, and we didn't even know which 
was which it was a struggle to find the genuine uh, bill from the executive arm of government at that time in the seventh senate it came and it was not concluded by the national assembly itself in the eighth senate the national assembly took the initiative to, pre to split that one bill into about four and we passed the PIGB and of course there were some issues in this narration there is it's clear that there were efforts disparate efforts by the executive in the first instance in the sixth and the seventh senate a solo sort of effort and then in the eighth senate there was a solo effort by the national assembly and all failed the option we have today is for the executive and the legislature to come together and look at how to go about this business of the PI, PIB because since we tried individually and we failed I think the time has come for us to sit together work out either one petroleum industry bill or separate bills but doing it together will give better chance of having a bill or bills that will be worked on by the national assembly and assented to by the executive as soon as our committees are reconstituted the petroleum related committees will swing into action because i think we have all the materials that we need right from 2007 when we entered here up to the last day of the 2015 the a senate all the materials are there all we require is to have that synergy so that we are able to come up with something that will provide to us more revenues but also support and encourage and sustain investments through reasonable profits by those in, in the business of petrol so let me also say that it's not a mistake that we have about seven or eight former members of the national assembly going to the cabinet that to us is a clear message that that federal executive council is supposed to be and should be and ought to be an, an executive council that will always understand what the national assembly is doing because we have all the representation you are very well qualified people committed people and in fact it's a mixture of young and fairly old no, no, there is no very old. <laughs> Senator Lashadura is only 71 years old. I, <laughs> sorry, how old are you? 69. 69, sorry. That's not 69. old. 69 is not old. He's just beginning to get there. So we, we have very good representation. So we want to urge you, just like our leader said, that you represent us there well give the message you know our sentiments very well you know what we want for us to function very well and we are prepared to function very well so with this i want to put the question those in favor that he takes a bow and go say aye, aye. those against say nay the eyes have it the student senator can take a bow Thank you.